What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC here. So today, putting an LED light kit in the Red Cat. This is the Clawback 1 fifth scale. And you're probably looking like, hey, what's the other car on top there? Just in case you're not familiar with it, that's a Gen 8, that's the International Scout 2 from Red Cat. And I'm gonna be using that light kit that would normally go with this vehicle here into this guy right here, the 1 fifth scale Clawback. So here it is here from Red Cat. The reason why I chose this kit in particular was the fact that it's got four LEDs. So I'm gonna put, the four LEDs are gonna, these are the red ones, are gonna go in the back, obviously, and then they have 12 of the LEDs. And the reason why I'm going with that one is because it's got a spot here for eight LEDs on its roof. So I'm gonna put four or eight of those here. And then also, I already put, I already cut them out, and I just used a reamer, which is right here, to go ahead and ream those holes out. So that way it fits in there. Now, I'm not gonna have the LEDs going all the way, sticking all the way out. So that's why I'm gonna use a glue gun. I don't, cause there's nothing that's gonna hold these things in here exactly without using something to hold those LEDs. Now the hole that I did drill or, you know, ream out, um, they're really snug getting the LEDs in there and that's what I wanted to have. That way I can get them just about where I wanted them. And so you can see here also. So I already did the other side as well. But I'm gonna have these angled so that way at least the LEDs should be pointing pretty straight out for the most part. And then as far as to the rear as well. So it's not as bright back here. But anyway, so you can kind of see those, those holes that are there. Since the kit is not long enough when it comes to a one fit scale, I had to go ahead and extend all these wires. So that's why they're laying out here too. All right, so things that I did. So I had to go ahead and these are the front lights. So these are the, these are white lights. Now, keep in mind too, two of these lights that are here are actually when you give it throttle are gonna be the ones that once you give the car throttle, they come on. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna have like my, I'm gonna have a, one of the LEDs on each side will be like kind of my running lights. So these will always stay on and then these will come on only when I give it throttle. Something like that. I figured these could be like kind of like my running lights and this one will be just when I start to go. Uh, for the rear as well, and you, if you get the kit, you'll notice right away like, oh, well, there's two LED lights that are dim on the back. There's a jumper that you can set to go ahead and make it brighter, but it's a brake light kind of thing. So that's why it's there, but I just wanted to go ahead and make it more even where it's at so it matches both lights. So let's go ahead. Let me show you more in getting into this thing anyhow. All right, so here's a little module here. Um, you wanna look at the instructions too, but most, I mean, this is all pretty much, it is plug and play for the most part, um, that th these little plugs only have one spot to go in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll plug these up, hook it up. Let's see if I can do this on the fly, but I don't, let's see. All right, so hook that one up. Let's go ahead and hook up the other one. Again, this is not gonna be like permanent as of right now. I just wanna show you guys. All right, so now when it comes, okay, so I wanna also let you guys know too, if you by chance are gonna do this same thing that I'm doing right now, don't hook your servo up to channel one. Uh, Red Cat informed me that don't do that because it gets you get glitches. So I was like, okay, well, thank you for letting me know that. So only channel two. Channel two is your electronic speed controller. So here, just like it is, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not. But anyway, channel two, that's what you wanna go for, which is this one right here. We'll go ahead, we'll take this out. We're gonna go ahead and use our little, in our kit, it comes with this here. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is this one, it's gonna go into, so if you look at it, it's kind of a Y, anyhow, Y cable. So you're gonna go ahead and use the end of the cable. Go ahead and that one's gonna go into channel two. And go over to the other spot. And uh, since we got our electronic speed controller removed, we're gonna go ahead and plug this one into this little adapter here. Let's see if I can get this. All right. All right, so that's in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug this part, which is gonna be going in because we still need our have our electronic speed controller hooked up. We'll go ahead and now we have that good. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the battery. Okay, so now that I have the battery hooked up, everything's hooked up, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my radio. So radio's on. 
All right, so we got our lights on. So these are gonna be, again, these lights that are here like underneath are gonna be the ones that are, and they're not flickering, they just, they're showing that on camera. So just bear with me on that So one. you'll notice here too that we have two LEDs that are out, that's not an issue. That's because the fact is that uh, it's only when we give it throttle do they come on. So I'm gonna give it just a little bit so you can see them kind of blip on a little bit, see how they come on. So those are on, those are gonna be the ones that I go ahead and put on top. Now for the rear, uh, like I said, I already put them at a hundred percent or what, however you wanna look at it there. But you'll notice like, see how they go out? So two of them go out. So that's where you're gonna need to make your decision. Like, do they go on top or on bottom? I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on top. Just makes more sense on that one. So two of these lights here, they're the ones that are going out. These are gonna be, I'm gonna check it all again too, but so anyway, that's that. So the other ones that stay on all the time, those will be the ones that are on the bottom for the brakes. Okay, so I already started putting these in anyhow, just because the fact, I was using the end of an actual cigarette lighter or just a lighter, cause I don't smoke or anything like nobody here in my family smokes. But anyway, I'm using this cause it's got like a little divot at the, the bottom of it and it actually fits it. Let me see if I can show you a little bit here. Anyway, it just holds, it gauges where I want the LED anyhow. It just kind of fits right in there. I know it's not looking so great, but anyway, I got it gauged here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the glue gun real quick. I'm gonna see if I can do this with one hand. Kind of show you guys me gluing this thing. Again, it's not sunk all the way down. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue for just, just to kind of hold it. Well, I'm gonna try and just do it all right now. Let's see if I can. I'm being generous with all this too, so I just want to make sure it stays for the most part. As much as possible. Alright, so there's that. So I'll just let that sit. Now that one, because it's in there really good, so I figure, let's go ahead. I'll let that dry just a little bit and then I'll show you. It's funny how the bottom ones blink, but the, the top ones don't in this case here. So anyway, uh, let's see. I bet wonder if that does it when I... Okay, so see those how those blink there? Those are, those are my top lights anyhow. Those are going to be my brake lights. So like I said, the bottom ones are going to be the ones that are going to be just always on. All right, let's go ahead and flip this over and see how it looks. All right, so back lights are on, so good to go on that part of it. Now, what I did do is I did, I did ream out on the inside here because I was looking at this thing and I was like, oh man, um, you know, running the wire over this, as far as how the bed and the actual cab uh, meet, is, uh, yeah, I went ahead and I just reamed out a hole here. I put a little bit of foam, wrapped foam around it, and then I just put some uh, duct, uh, not duct, electrical tape. You guys can come up with your own method. The only thing I just didn't want to do is I didn't want that actually, the wire getting on here and actually causing a short, you know, over time. So this does have, since it's got the foam that allows it to kind of move pretty freely on that part of it. But that's what I did, I just went ahead and reamed that out. Uh, so the next thing, I didn't have to unsolder or anything like that, so it was all good on that because this electrical connection that's here, uh, I was just able to fish all this stuff through. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to go ahead and wire up my uh, top LEDs. All right guys, you can let me know as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the chrome off this. I don't really care for it at all. Again, I'm not really a chrome guy and I'm blacking everything out anyhow. So it's not gonna make a big difference anyway, I don't think as far as with the lights. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off there. You guys make your own decision. Let me know what you think about that one anyhow. All right, so went ahead and reamed out a hole. So I got all my wires fed through there. And I got them coming up through the top here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm just gonna start with, I'm gonna, Let's see if I can try and time lapse this or so. I'm gonna go ahead, start with where you wanna do this is see how these are on a strand here. Like there's one row or there's one strand and then there's a second strand. You wanna go ahead and use, you wanna go like for this one, you wanna go like top and bottom, top and bottom. Alright, 
So I got the LEDs on the top there done. And like I said, I removed the chrome on there as well. Didn't like it. So I like that black that's on there. So let me go ahead and just finish up just the front here. So let's get on that one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and mount the top LEDs. We can see it here. These are for the top anyhow. These are the ones that only come on when we give it throttle. So I got them in there. I'm, gonna, I'm leaving it like that because I wanna have that angle where I can just sit there. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this thing. I'm gonna time lapse me doing this part of it. It's gonna wait for everything to kind of dry anyhow. So it takes a little bit of time. here so I just mounted this little controller just on the side here as far as for the LED module anyway uh, yeah I think that that's gonna work for now I can unplug it if I need to and then it separates it from the actual uh, chassis itself let's go ahead and turn this thing on see how it looks back right now like we saw I just took the wheel off just because the body was getting really heavy that way so there's that and let's take a look at the front here it's a heavy beast all right, now let me go ahead and grab the radio here so we can see this thing. I can see those lights. Yeah, it looks good. Not too bad. It look better. It is kind of weird with, with the lights like that when they come on. But that's about the best I could do with that one. I figure I could have wired it up or whatever. But I figure those would be like the running lights down below. Like I said, I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the lights off. Let's see how this thing looks in the dark. All right, so there you go. It's gonna be real bright. So those lights are, those LEDs are pretty bright anyhow. So it's crazy. All right, turn that off. As you can see, those lights go off when you give it throttle, and then they come back on as your brakes. So pretty cool. Definitely, I uh, hope you guys enjo enjoyed it here. Let's see. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for liking, comment, and subscribing. And until next time, this was Joe with OMG RC. You guys take care. Thank you for watching.